an attitude of unity. Romans chapter 15, verse 5, The Remedy We, who have had our minds set free from distrust and fear, have a responsibility to help those still weakened by the infection of distrust and selfishness, and to not simply live to please ourselves. Each of us should do all in our power to help our neighbour recover from the devastation caused by distrust in God, fear and selfishness. We should strive to help heal and restore our neighbour. May God, who strengthens and encourages, give you an attitude of unity as you seek to be like Christ Jesus, so that with hearts and minds united in the truth, you may bring glory to the true God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accept one another as sick, in need of God's free remedy, just as Christ has accepted and healed you, and thus bring praise to God, the source of all goodness and health. As you trust in God, may your fear be expelled, and your hearts filled with joy and peace. Currently I am on my way to Jerusalem to be of service to the saints there, for our brothers in Macedonia and Achaia were eager to make a donation for the poor among the saints in Jerusalem. They were glad to help, and even felt indebted to them, for they felt a real sense of gratitude for being able to share in God's healing remedy, which came through the Jews, so that they wanted to share their financial blessings with the Jews. I beg you, brothers and sisters, by your desire to be like our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the love of the Spirit who lives in you, to pray to God with me. The great God of peace be with you all. Amen. This was a reading from The Remedy, a New Testament expanded paraphrase. To read The Remedy for yourself, please visit comeandreason.com.